day 45 of TDR. I am in almost halfway through my seventh week and um, all's going well. I am focused. I'm doing fine. I'm starting to really notice it in myself now. So um, my cheekbones are starting to come back and um, I, my, um, I'm really noticing it in my top, my clothes, my t-shirts are all getting quite baggy and um, I can look at myself from waist up and I feel okay now, which is a really nice feeling. Um, still got a bit to do from bum down, but it's happening. Today's tip, I think, is about just focusing on literally doing the next hour. I mean, it's particularly true for me at the moment with my um, how long am I going to be, be able to stay on TDR as my uh, pain is increasing and increasing and it's it's increasing exponentially every day and I'm really pushing through and I'm trying very very hard to stay as long as I can on TDR. I have to come off it when I have to change my meds and go to a different sort of med um, which is a stronger painkiller um, and what I'm finding I'm doing is I'm just thinking to myself um, just get through the next 15 minutes if I'm in a bit of pain and I want to sort of delay slightly and this is head pain not hunger pain if I want to delay um, when I have my next uh, set of medications so that I can string it out throughout the day and hopefully not have to use the stronger meds and it's exactly the same sort of um, thing I do with um, having my products I will say to myself um, if I'm getting a bit peckish just just uh, just wait another 10 minutes just wait another 10 minutes and I'm and I'm finding that well, sometimes even just five minutes I just go find something to do to distract yourself and and then before I know it half an hour's gone by um and it's quite a good technique to to just focus on just the next however long is going to work for you I find if I think to myself um oh I don't know I mean I don't even know how many days or weeks I've got left I'm focusing on what I've done and what I'm doing today and just doing the next day and if I just do that if I just do the next five minutes or the next ten minutes then those minutes all add up and suddenly I've done another day and that's a really really helpful way and, and if you look back at some of my vi my videos I keep saying in them um, oh my goodness I can't believe I've done I'm nearly at the end of week three week four week five week six the time is just flying by particularly if you um, keep yourself occupied I find if I'm at a bit of a loose end it gets a bit harder but then I that would have been a time when I might have turned to the nut box or had a coffee or um, and of course I can't do that now so it's it's making me do other things and I'm also trying to do things that aren't exhausting me and tiring myself out because I think there is a quite an easy trap to fall into that if you're keeping yourself very busy you end up then getting very very tired um, and wanting to fuel your busyness with more food. So guess what? You get hungrier. So part of keeping occupied as opposed to keeping busy is also I will do things like I will have a nice relaxing bath. Maybe not even at bath time. I might even have it middle of the day. Or I will, um, if I'm at a bit of a loose moment, I've got 15 minutes to spare before I've got to shoot off and pick someone up from somewhere. I'll just open up my Kindle and snuggle up on the sofa and do a bit of reading. So you can do keep yourself occupied without food, without exhausting yourself. 